In this video, we are going to learn one more new command, which is called swap cutout. Okay, swap cutout. Again, like the swap protrusion, we have a swap options. Swap option allows you to do the single path and cross section or multiple path and cross sections. Again, we use a single one for this demonstration. Click OK. And now you need to actually make sure uh, under this drop down menu, the coincident plane appears here. So as you can choose the, uh, the plane to draw the path, click that one. The path we're going to draw, since we're going to make a hole along this solid path. We draw against the same plane, we draw the path for the solid sweep protrusion. So that's the one. Right. Since we have these lines to guide us, we, it's much easier. Just move, click the command, line command, move to the middle, click, and then drag horizontally, click again when it reaches the line. Left click, cancel that one. And Click on the tangent R command and move to the end of this horizontal line. And once the end point appears, click and drag it down when it's reached the middle of that line. It shows you a hundred millimeter radius and a 90 degree angle. Click. Uh, you can see this path is now created. Then we can use the close sketch to close this one back to 2D. Again, we just finished the pass. We need to move to the next step, which is cross section step. To do that, we need to come, click on finish. You can see it automatically gets there. Now we need to actually select the profile we want to do the protrusion. So if it appears here, as they select from a sketch or edge, that's okay. And make this as a loop is easy because the circle, circle is a loop. If we move to here, you can see, select that circle, which is the same size as the hole. Uh, and click, you can see it's been cut all the way through. And click on finish, you just follow the path. We just draw and click on finish. The hole is there. That's the end of this video.